FDA recently cleared for marketing a new test called the Mammaprint that can predict the odds that an early stage breast cancer will metastasize in five to 10 years. Using a biopsy sample taken from the tumor, the test analyzes the activity of 70 genes which affect whether or not an early stage breast cancer will spread. Based on this, it rates the patient as high risk or low risk for metastases. It's intended for women who are under 61 years old with stage one or two disease, who are lymph node negative, and whose tumors are no larger than five centimeters. It turns out that Mammaprint's reliability differs a great deal depending on which risk category it places the woman in. When the test designates the woman as low risk, there's a 90% probability that she will not get metastatic disease at five years. But when the test designates the woman as high risk, there's only a 25% chance that she will actually develop distant metastases at five years. It's important for women and their physicians to understand this difference and to keep the test limitations in mind. It's also important to keep in mind that the Mammaprint test is not intended to diagnose breast cancer or to select the type of therapy or to predict the woman's response to it. It's a prognostic marker only to be used along with other clinicopathological factors. Mammaprint is currently available overseas and its developer, the Dutch company Agendia, is exploring ways to make the test available in the U.S.